Oh, so I love that you're playing for that trade. Like you're just here to follow up your teammate. Um, literally the difference that could probably help you win this gunfight is using your stun grenade. One thing that you shouldn't do in multiplayer is be in doorways because those are spots that everyone always centers to like before they go around the wall. All I'm trying to say is this guy very well could have been centering at you through the wall and then when he jumps out, he's going to get the advantage to kill you. And this is, all, all that is is just peeker's advantage and just really good centering. That's how pro players center. Next time I would say, so you would aim through the bottom door. You know how you can aim through the bottom door, right? By sitting on the staircase? Yeah. Yeah, so you'd see if nothing's there, then once nothing's there, then immediately you just sprint, 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 boom. Now you're sitting in this corner. Like you said, continue snaking and just strafe left. Like you're already in a good head glitch. You're obviously needing to aim a little bit higher, but like at this point right here, all you need to do now is just strafe right. And then when you strafe right, you're going to be shooting right onto him. And then obviously when you... um need to if you strafe left you're still gonna you know kill him because your right stick is just gonna track on to him is you could have like looked at your mini map and realized that your teammate is actually going for a flank so then you could have actually just laid down behind the staircase wait a few seconds and then uh your teammate would have got the kill and you would still be alive for a competitive team that's where like your team would actively fill in all the lanes in this middle building and clear everything out so like you might have one AR player sitting top maps to look over towards top double and top single, and then two sub players hop up into uh, top doubles, and then one sub player pushes the left, one sub player pushes the right, and then maybe the AR player now drops down and he pushes the bottom out. Or maybe you have like a fourth teammate who pushes the bottom out um, and anchor or something like that, right? So after the start of one round, maybe like you run into a situation like this again, where both enemies now know that you sit right here. So now in the future, you instead play aggressive and now you um, push up. And the whole goal of this is they're going to be so hyper-focused on just pushing through and not even looking at you sitting over in this corner over here. You, you would be sitting in that back corner in the top right. Yeah. 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 yeah no worries. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, and like that's where like a simple reposition, you can counter the enemies and potentially 1v2 them twice, you know? Oh, hey, look, you're doing that one strat that we talked about. Uh, obviously, the enemies didn't go there and your teammate got a crazy flank. I can't believe your teammate did that. That's something where like, I'm going to steal now. Where it's like round eight, apparently like the opponents don't watch full flank. Just risk it for the biscuit push out front and then go for the flank, right? <laughs> Already, you're amazing at repositioning in your own personal like respawn gameplay. And you also do that good in S and D, but you also do a great job at like being unpredictable. Like pretty much the first half of this game, you're doing all sub player plays. And now this complete, you know, later half of the game, you're pulling out ARs and going to, you know, main AR positions which this would throw people off um, in the higher levels for sure. All right, round 11, you said you don't get nervous. Let's see the, uh, let's see how you clutch it up. And like, this is crazy because this is what I was talking about, how like you're throwing a wild card played, uh, a wild card play where you said, all right, I ran an AR for the last half. Now let me pull out a sub. And you're just playing it super aggressive. Chances are there's going to be an enemy on this back truck and there's probably going to be an enemy like maybe on bomb and then maybe there's an enemy over at open so right here we're in a scenario where like who are we closest to probably this guy right um so we can go for a 2v1 on this guy and that'll just guarantee a trade so we can be in a 2v2 and the whole point of you guys shooting is now all the enemies are focused on you and then this is going to allow this teammate to go for a pinch. Um, which, this guy isn't turning around yet, so like I'll tell you when. At this point right here. Once you see that this teammate is now looking back middle, that's when you would be like, oh shoot, my teammate's going for the pinch. Alright, let me push with my teammate. Okay, um, okay. interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I just realized as well, you can open up the door right here, throw grenades, 
and now you're going to have the enemies like super confused because now you can have two people attacking from this direction you, because you threw grenades they think you're attacking from that direction and then you have a teammate pinching um late which because they're late pinching whoever's watching the pinch they're going to get bad call of duty timing more than likely Nice, and I guess the last guy was middle. Who knew? Um, <laughs> but that was... Okay, I got scared. I thought they weren't defusing. I thought that was your teammate. Um, but I'm glad we won that. 